Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial by Shayna's Home DIY and Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a shadow box using your Cricut machine. If you want to see how I do so, keep on watching. If it's your first time here, my name is Shayna and I want to take the time to say welcome on board. If you like what you see here today, I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button and clicking that notification bell. You can be notified every time I upload. So guys, here I have all my paper flowers shaped out and measured down to the size I want. I'm going to be cutting these one in four inches by four inches. Four inches wide by four inches long. So here we go. We have that shade out different colors because I'm using different shade pink I'm gonna go on over to make it up top right and I'm gonna be choosing my mat that I'm going to be cutting these on and here we go I choose my 12 by 12 mat and of course I'm gonna be cutting my green ones first so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm lining those up on my mat my paper that I'm cutting that the cardstock is 65 pound and it's colored right throughout so you want to make sure that your cardstock is colored right throughout not white on the side with color on the front okay so here we go we're gonna send that over continue and we are gonna wait for that to load and we are gonna hit on um, paper cardstock 65 pounds once we hit that and do so we are going to choose difficult we're gonna leave it right there you could use more or less difficult you could choose from that we're gonna load up our mat with our um, card stock again it's 8 by 5 by 11 card stock that I'm using once I load that onto my mat I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna send it to my Cricut machine and here goes the mat in the Cricut machine once I do so I'm gonna hit that flashing light and once it's all lined up the flashing light is gonna start flashing on the C which means cut there we go I'm gonna hit that flashing light cut and then the Cricut is gonna do its job once the Cricut is done, all done with doing its job, I'm going to go ahead and I will remove that mat from the Cricut. We will unfeed that and then once we're done unfeeding it, we will go ahead and pull out the unnecessary piece that we don't need. The pieces that we need looks like this after I pull it out. Then I'm going to turn my mat over and pull those out. Here I go. I'm load, I load my mat with a different shade pink and I'm just showing you guys because I didn't show you on the first one what I did. So here we go. I'm just going ahead pull out the unnecessary piece. We don't need all these pieces that I'm pulling out. Okay. So once we're done pulling that out, we're going to turn our mat over and pull the pieces that we need to create our roses off our mat. Okay. Nobody loves me better, yeah I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better, nobody loves me better To settle down Day nights and late nights Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping The love we found There's something about you Something about you now that I'm all done pulling all the paper off my mat, I am using my little curling tool and I'm going to go ahead, we're going to insert, there's a little split in between on that. I'm going to insert my paper in there and I'm just going to roll it towards me. You want to keep your finger, you notice how I have my index finger and my thumb. I'm trying to hold that in place as I do so. Guys, it's going to be hard at first when you try to do so, but just if you keep those finger technique going, you'll be just fine. And if it unravel or not ravel right, you don't have to unravel it to do it all over. Just keep going. You could always line up once you take it off. So that's all I'm doing. And while I'm doing these, rolling these together, the Cricut is doing its job cutting the rest off my um, paper first though so I'm using a cover from a bottle because I want to make sure some of these I want to have some of them bigger and some smaller so I'm using that to make sure the bigger ones are at this the same size so you could use a cap or a cover from a bottle whatever it is what to your size that your roses that you're making or if you're good at eyeballing it then go for it so these are my first three little roses that I made they're the rose pink rose so here we go we're just gonna keep doing that all we're doing is rolling rolling it towards us and we keep going while the Cricut is cutting the rest you'll see the rest keep watching you'll see what everything looks like once I'm done rolling all these okay Got 
And just like that, we're all done cutting and rolling all our roses. Overall, I have 36 roses that I'm going to install to my shadow box. Guys, the shadow box I'm using is an 8 by 8 so I'm just going to remove the backing from the box. I'm going to put the top to the side or the top of the box to the side. And I'm going to be using some nice decorative glitter cardstock on the back piece of my shadow box because I want this box to where you can see the bling coming through, okay? This is for my mom and she likes bling. So I, you could you, you could choose however you want to make your shadow box. You could make your flowers all clutter where you can't see the backing. And you know, but my, I want I want to be able to see the bling, so I make you have space. So here we go. We're moving our cardstock from our packet, and I am just gonna go ahead and line that up with the backing of my shadow box. I'm gonna get a pen and I'm gonna mark where it stopped. Then I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm just gonna cut the excess off for just. And I'm just gonna use what I need. Okay, so that's all I am doing: measuring and cutting. Line up everything to make sure I can see my bling bling. You know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my hot glue to dab a few spots so this way my um, glitter vinyl, my, sorry not vinyl, I use vinyl so much, I'm sorry, my glitter cardstock will be able to stick to the backing of my um, shadow box. Now you could use hot glue or you could use glue stick or you could use regular glue, Elmo glue, whatever glue, I don't care, just use whatever it takes to stick that onto it. Just don't use tape guys, don't use tape or if you're going to use tape, use the clear tape. So you can't see it when you stick your roses over it, okay? Don't use paint or save. You know what I'm saying? All right. Guess I'm just too scared to settle down. So once I was done gluing my glitter cardstock to the back end of my shutter box, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line my roses out how I want them to be in place. I'm just trying to line them up how it looks nice before I actually glue these down because I'm going to glue these down to that, that glitter vinyl. I keep saying vinyl. Help me out here. Help me out here. Not vinyl. To that... <laughs> Hard stock sorry so that's all I'm doing there guys lining it up making sure it looks nice in my eyes I don't want it to look like too organized I want it to look you know 
like a bunch of roses with different all over the place i don't want it to be too uniform so that's what i'm doing here and we're just moving a little bit of fast mode you know what i'm saying fast mode because i don't want y'all to skip however you know what if you guys make it this far I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button, click that notification bell. Also give this video a big thumbs up and share the video out guys. It doesn't cost anything to do so. Share it out with your friends and family. If you don't like it, they may, they might, they may, they might like it. So go ahead and just do so. You know what I'm saying? All right. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm pretty sure if you make it this far, you're, you're enjoying or you like what you see here this far. Okay. All right. Nobody loves me better yet. For my continuous supporters, I want to say thank you guys so much for your continuous love and support. Like I always say, I couldn't have been this far without you guys. You guys know yourself. You guys rock. You guys rock. Okay. All right, guys. If you haven't seen my recent videos or my other Mother's Day videos, I'm going to be having that list right in the high card here above. So, guys, when you're done watching this video, go on over and show those videos some love. Also, I have the link in my description box below. Let's talk about Get Social, you guys. Guys, go ahead and follow me over on TikTok. Follow me over on YouTube. Sorry, I'm on YouTube, right? Here we go again. Follow me over on TikTok. Let's start over. Follow me over on Instagram. Follow me over on Facebook. Most of the time I post over there what I don't post on here. So how about you go ahead and do so, guys? I appreciate you guys for everything and every everything. So here we go, guys. Right now I am here. I am just measuring my box. I'm going to put my writing on the front. So, you know, it's 7 by 7 on the inner side of the box. So I want to see where I want to cut my vinyl. Here we go. We did 4.5 by 4.5. Here goes my writing. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to weed this out. Guys, you know what? I don't like weeding these little things out. They're so time consuming and it's annoying. And I'm using some um, permanent vinyl here. I prefer weeding out HDV versus permanent vinyl. It's annoying and it gets sticky. So if you don't know what you're doing, sometimes, you know, you have to cut your print again. But anyways, hula, hula, whatever, whatever. Here we go. Enough of my silliness. Here we go. I'm just here weeding this out. And once I'm done weeding it, you'll see. I won't tell you, but you'll see what the image is. I'm pretty sure you already seen that from the thumbnail anyways. But yeah, keep watching and I hope you're enjoying yourself so far. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us, gotta say the obvious. Nobody loves me better yet. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us, gotta say the obvious. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. Don't get around, but there's something about you. Some so now I am all done weeding out. He said, Happy Mother's Day, mommy. That's what I call my mom. I call my mom mommy. I don't know what you call your mom, so you can make yours be what you will call your mom or whoever you call, whatever you call. But I call my mom mommy. All day, mommy, 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 mommy. I'm sure she's watching this. If you're watching to this far, mom, mommy, 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 mommy. Anyways, here we go. I'm using my transfer sheet um, to transfer the writing onto that, um, what do you call it? Shadow box. 
So that's where we're using 91% your alcohol, guys. We're using 91% alcohol, guys. I can't talk. I'm sorry. We're using 91% alcohol and we are cleaning the front of our shadow box because we don't want any residue or anything. Want to make sure when we put that vinyl on, it stays on. Now, guys, there's two ways of doing this. You could either take the glass out of your shadow box and add your decal to it before you attach the box together, or you could do what I'm doing. Here we go. You know what time at night I was making this? Guys, I was making this at 11 o'clock at night. I finished making this at 11 30 after working a 12 hour shift so hey don't come for me don't crucify me don't kill me because yeah you know what you don't know what's going on behind this camera okay all right so here we go so i appreciate you guys watching to this far because you know i put a lot of work in this a lot of work after working a 12 hour shift so here we go all right so i'm just using my fingers and i'm going to use my little scoochie or my burny tool and i'm going to burnish that over and just get it attached to the front of my box guys if you want to make your print bigger you can make your print better bigger sorry not bitter <laughs> i can't talk bigger but I don't want mine to be big because I want you to be able to see all those bling and see what's going on in the box. You know what I'm saying? I don't want too uh, big of a writing where you can't really see. And then I attach um, Happy Mother's Day and I'm putting mommy down a little lower because I feel like it was too cluttered. So I'm putting that a little lower. All right. And love you if only you knew I would die. Now, once I'm done with that transfer tape, guys, I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to save it, guys. If you guys been around for a little bit, you know I always save my transfer tape. I save it. I'm going to use it two, three, four, five times before I throw it away. These, these things are expensive, okay? Okay, this one is from the Dollar Tree, and I actually really love it because guess what? It's not an aggressive with adhesive, so if, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But anyways, this is what my shadow box turned out to look like. Absolutely love it. You know what's the worst thing is? It's for my mom, and she's probably going to see it before she gets it because she support my YouTube channel. You see, I have no privacy because she support my YouTube channel and everything I make, and then I have to make a video on it. So there they go. They see it, and they know it's with them. And yeah, 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 it's no surprise. But anyway, if you enjoy watching this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Also, make sure you share this video with your friends and family. This way, they won't miss out. Now, remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthen you. Until next time, be. Be blessed. I should slow down, but maybe I'm just